morning and thank you everyone for settling down now as we commence our 2020 Remembrance Service to commemorate our Australian men and women who served and died in conflicts. On the 11th of November 1918, the guns of the Western Front that is in Europe fell silent after four years of continuous warfare. With their armies retreating and close to collapse, German leaders signed an armistice, bringing to an end of the First World War. From the summer of 1918, the five divisions of the Australian Corps had been at the forefront of the Allied advance to victory. From this moment, so many years ago, Remembrance Day has evolved to be an important part of the Australian way of life each year. Today's service is one of remembrance and prayer for the many people who have served Australia and to also remember our Australian Defence Force personnel who serve today. On behalf of us all here today, we respectfully acknowledge the past and present traditional owners on the land on which we are gathered, the Campania people and to elders both past, present and emerging leaders. We remember that under this concrete and asphalt, this land is, was, and always will be sacred to Aboriginal people. We now commence our prayers for peace. Almighty God, we remember with thanksgiving those who made the supreme sacrifice for us in times of war. We pray that the offering of their lives may not have been in vain. May your grace enable us this day to dedicate ourselves to the cause of justice, freedom, and peace and give us the wisdom and strength to build a better world. Amen. God of love and liberty, we bring our thanks today for the peace and security we enjoy. We remember those who in time of war faithfully served their country. We pray for their families and for ourselves whose freedom was won at such a cost. Make us a people zealous for peace and hasten that day when nations shall not live. Up sword against nation, neither learn war any more. This we pray in the name of one who gave his life for the sake of the world, Jesus Christ, our Redeemer. Amen. 101 years ago, on the 11th of November 1918, four bloody years of brutal conflict came to an end. 2020 is the 101st year of the armistice that ended the First World War. The Ode of Remembrance may be the most well-known part of Remembrance Day ceremonies. It is the fourth stanza of the poem for the Fallonby Lawrence Binion, who before the war had been an assistant keeper of prints and drawings at the British Museum. The stanza which forms the Ode of Remembrance reads, They shall grow not old, as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them. The Ode of Remembrance was selected in 1919 to accompany the unveiling of the London Cenotaph and soon passed into common use across the British Commonwealth. In Australia, it is recited on Anzac Day and Remembrance Day. Written just a few weeks after the war began, for the fallen anticipated much about the war on the Western Front not least the vast numbers of dead and the symbolism that came to be associated with the red poppies which grew in profusion in northern France and Flanders. In Flanders fields the poppies blow between the crosses row on row that mark our place and in the sky the larks still bravely singing fly scarce heard amid the guns below. We are the dead Short days ago we lived, felt dawn, saw sunset glow, loved and were loved. And now we lie in Flanders fields. Take up our quarrel with the foe. To you from failing hands we throw the torch. Be yours to hold it high. If ye break faith with us who die, we shall not sleep though poppies grow in Flanders' fields.
For soldiers who fought on the Western Front, the Ode of Remembrance also called to mind two of the most important moments of the day in the trenches, dawn and dusk, the time of the stand to. This was the favoured time of attack by armies on both sides, and all eyes at sunrise and sunset were focused on the enemy line. Though it was written more than a century ago, in its remembrance of the dead and its sorrowful evocation of the future, they were denied. The Ode of Remembrance remains relevant to the present day. After the Second World War, Armistice Day became Remembrance Day, a time to commemorate the war dead from all conflicts. Our Principal Mr Johnston will now recite the Ode. Please join me in the response. This is a sign of respect for our fallen soldiers. They shall grow not old, as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them. We will remember them. Lest we forget. Lest we forget. Our primary and secondary captains will now pick up the wreaths and lay at the bottom of our lone pine. They will remain there as a sign of respect during the last post and rouse. Please stand for the last post, and then there will be one minute of silence. The minute of silence is sacred as we remember the men and women who sacrificed their lives for all Australians. As a sign of respect on this day of national remembrance, we remember our defence personnel past and present during our national anthem. Thank you for joining the Bishop Druitt College Remembrance Day service today. We'd also like to acknowledge our current serving personnel, both domestically and globally, who are serving the country, 
and the difference that you're making uh, today. And I'd also like to thank our captains uh, who led our service. And once again, thanks for joining us.